In the last episode, Lexi asks Max if he likes her, but Max says, Lexi, I think you're great. But I only like you as a friend. Poor girl gets her heart broken. Will this shatter her confidence entirely? Will it be a wake-up call and soften her heart, or will she get back on track and strike back with revenge once again? Your support matters a lot. So, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ouch! <laughs> Who put this here? Looks like someone's been monkeying around. Very funny. Charlie. Come on, let's go get some ice cream. That always makes me feel better. Okay, that sounds good. So, what flavor did you get? Mint chocolate chip. It's my favorite. Really? I thought you were more of a rocky road kind of girl. What does that even mean? I don't know, it just sounded funny. This is just what I needed. A good laugh and some ice cream. Thank you, Charlie, for inviting me. Anytime, Lexi. Anytime. I enjoyed it, too. Lexi is on her way to her locker to grab her textbooks for her next class. Need to be quick to get my English books. Oh my god! Ah, Very funny, Max. That was amazing. Sheena is sitting at a table by herself, looking sad. Tyler walks by with some friends and sees her but doesn't say anything. Instead, he walks over to the vending machine and tries to get a snack but it gets stuck. Come on! He starts shaking the machine. And suddenly all the snacks fall out at once. Whoa! Everyone around him starts laughing and grabbing snacks. I guess it's my lucky day. Sheena sees this and can't help but laugh too. Hey, do you want to come with me to the science club meeting? We're doing some cool experiments today. Sure. That sounds like fun. Okay, everyone. Today we're going to be making elephant toothpaste. Max starts mixing some chemicals together in a beaker. Suddenly, there is a loud explosion and foam starts shooting out of the beaker all over everyone. Oops. I guess I added too much hydrogen peroxide. This is so much fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I had a blast, and it was a refreshing break from pranks. By the way, I hope you won't be pulling any pranks on me, right? Well, I've been on my best behavior, so perhaps the next prank will come from my end. Be ready! Lexi decides to go to the college gym for some exercise as a break because she loves to keep fit. Ah, uh, this is a good workout. Lexi freshens up in the college showers before ending her day to go home. She washes her face and grabs for her towel but feels something ticklish all over her face. What? Oh my god, how did feathers get on this towel? They're all stuck to my face. I just showered as well. I wonder who did it. Probably Max, because he said to be ready. He must have managed to sneak it into my gym kit earlier. I'll get him back. Jay walks into the classroom, holding a whoopee cushion. He spots Max in the corner of the classroom and grins mischievously. This is going to be hilarious! But just as he's about to place the whoopee cushion on Max's seat, Lexi walks by and sits down instead. Oh no! Oh no, Lexi. I didn't mean for you to sit on that. It was meant for Max. Really, Jay? That's not cool at all. Jay, pranks can be fun, but you should be careful not to hurt or embarrass anyone. It's important to consider the consequences before pulling off a prank. Not cool, man. You're right, Max. I didn't think it through. After class, Lexi and Max see Jay by his locker. The atmosphere is tense, and Lexi decides to confront Jay. Jay, what you did yesterday was so embarrassing. You pranked me in front of the whole class, and everyone was laughing at me. Oh come on, Lexi. 
It was just a harmless prank. Can't you take a joke? Jay, I never did anything to you to upset you or make you look bad in front of anyone. Even if I did, I didn't deserve that. Jay, that wasn't cool at all. You should apologize to Lexi. Seriously, Max, you're taking your side? I'm taking the side of decency and respect. You crossed a line, man. Oh, please. It was just a silly prank. You're blowing it out of proportion. It may have been silly to you, but it hurt me, Jay. You embarrassed me in front of everyone, and I can't believe you're being so heartless about it. Heartless is right. You need to understand how your actions affect others, Jay. Fine, you all just don't have a sense of humor. I don't need this. Jay storms off and Lexi is visibly angry. Hey, don't worry about him. You're better off without someone who can't see when they've hurt their friends. Thank you, Max. I just need some time to process this. You deserve better, Lexi. You will be okay. They share a reassuring smile as Lexi is grateful for Max's understanding and support. She has hope that they are getting closer and closer, even if it meant she got hurt in the process. Is Lexi going to focus on her and Max and try and win him over? Or is Lexi going to focus on getting revenge on Jay, knowing she is the best at revenge? Watch more to find out.